Oh. Oh my God. I've, I've forgotten what they looked like. My name is Elaine Roebuck. In the process of cleaning out my parents' house, we um, discovered a lot of Dior clothes. A few people have said to me, why did you donate it to the ROM? I said, because in this way, it's a tribute to my parents. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. My father didn't believe in girls having bat mitzvahs, but I wanted one. So after many months of saying this is what I wanted and him saying, no, you don't, I got it. My mother uh, was a stay-at-home mom with a lot of flair and knew how to put herself together. She started shopping at Holt Renfrew probably when it opened up. And she became friends with a woman by the name of Betty McPherson, who ran what was called in those days the boutique. When it came time for my bat mitzvah, Betty said, I'm going to Paris and I'm having Dior design dresses for you. This turned out to be 350 people, most of whom I didn't know. I didn't know Dior from a hole in the ground. Clothes were not all that important to me at 12 years old. Having a date was important. This was actually from Christian Dior's New York line. Oh. A grand mariage, it's called, a wedding dress. It looks like it, doesn't it? And yeah, and your mother had the train shortened a bit, but it's very, very, very smart. And we still have not quite identified your dress. Well, because it was, it was made for me. It, it was? was? It was designed, for, these two, because they're kids' dresses, he didn't do kids in those days. I know. They were actually designed for us in Paris, and the uh, cloth came to Montreal. The dress was dreamlike, and it made me think or maybe even feel like a princess in it. And my mother was thrilled with this sweetheart neck. Because? She, because she liked the look, and she uh -huh. thought it was just perfect. This really is gorgeous. I bet it wouldn't fit me now. When you were 12, 